Hello. Welcome to our devotions for Thursday, October 15th. Uh, it's good to have you here with me. Uh, this is recorded earlier today, so there'll be no interaction, but uh, I want to share something that happened last night at our uh, children's sermon. I don't know what happened. We were live. Uh, normally we have uh, normally this is sent out to somewhere between 150 and 200 people and we have anywhere from 30, 40 up to 80 or more on Sunday that interact with it, that view it. Last night it was sent out to almost 3,000 people. Something went wrong with Facebook. I don't know what. I only had one comment from somebody that uh, wasn't from our church or wasn't from a, a normal viewer. and I had to erase that one. That wasn't a very good one. But uh, I don't know what happened, but uh, maybe God opened the door to uh, someone who didn't normally do devotions or had no idea who First Lutheran Ohio was. And uh, maybe they viewed it and... Maybe it struck a chord, so we can only hope. But I hope uh, hope we get settled down again. I hope this is okay today. We're not live, so that might make a difference. Uh, but yeah, we uh, had uh, Wittenberg door today, so I drove up to uh, Kirkland with Pastor uh, Bill Shields from First Lutheran in Princeton and Pastor Phil Grombach led the study, but we had to get home because the host pastor uh, uh, at uh, First Lutheran Kirkland, uh, Carl Rasmussen, had a funeral to do at 2 o'clock. Uh, so uh, came home early. So I decided to do this devotion at this time. Uh, but I'm thinking uh, tonight it's going to get cold. And, uh, well, that's what happens this time of year. Don't know whether we should cover the garden or not. That's the bad thing. The days get shorter and the light gets less and less. And sometimes we get down a little bit because we have less and less light. Light is good for us. So during these times of the year in the fall, when we get less and less light, that's bad. The good thing about this time of year is we have absolutely gorgeous sunsets. Now we've had some wonderfully orange ones lately, but last night it was just kind of a golden, shiny golden the whole sky. There must have been something in the air that diffused the light and it just cast a a kind of a golden hue on everything here on earth and yeah it's absolutely beautiful but it will be cold and the days will be shorter so but uh, we do like our light you know that's what's the problem with a basement uh, besides being underground and damp it doesn't usually get a lot of light and without light a lot of different things grow different things that we don't want that's our lesson for today. Our devotion for today is come into the light. And it talks about a scene from Beauty and the Beast where Belle, the beauty, asked the beast to come into the light so that she could see him. But fearing Belle's reaction when the, when the beast steps into the light and sees his hideous appearance, Belle grasps in horror. The light exposed who he was. But that's not all. That's not all bad. There is a good ending, and we'll get to that. We talk a little bit about Nicodemus lately, and we'll talk about Nicodemus again, who came to Jesus in the dark so that no one would see him. And Jesus said that he needed to come into the light. Jesus is the light and the life of the world. 
that's good for us to be in the light. Because when we're not in the light of Jesus, things grow inside of us that are dark. Things that shouldn't be growing. Things we don't want to grow. But when we come out into the light, when we confess, when we are contrite and sorry, when we come to Jesus, the light overcomes a darkness. A lesson reading is 1 John 1, 7, but if we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship with one another. And the blood of Jesus, his son, cleanses us from all sin. Yes, God is light. That's the first thing we hear after uh, when scripture starts in Genesis is that the earth was a formless void and the breath of God lit across the chaos and God said, let there be light. And there was. Light is good. Jesus invites us to come into the light. Let him take away those things that are growing inside of us. That keep us away from each other and from God. At the end of the movie, Beauty and the Beast, Beauty goes through it, or the beast goes through a transformation into a handsome prince as a light which is inside of him comes out for all the world to see. And they live happily ever after as the beauty and the wonderful, handsome prince. The light of Jesus was put into our hearts. We were born again by water and the Holy Spirit and light in Jesus Christ. So just remember that light is in our hearts. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. You know that song. So just like the beast, when our light that's inside of us shines outside, our real beauty, the beauty that God put into our hearts, shines through. Shine, Jesus, shine. Let us pray. Beautiful Savior, I praise you, my light and my salvation. Amen. Let us pray Luther's evening prayer together. I thank you, my Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have graciously kept me this day. And I pray that you would forgive me all my sins where I've done wrong and graciously keep me this night. For into your hands I commend myself, my body and soul and all things. Let your holy angel be with me that the evil foe may have no power over me. Amen. Tomorrow is Friday. It's my day of rest. We will have no devotions. So I will see you at 10 o'clock in the morning on Saturday for coffee. Hopefully I can have it on the deck still. But until that time, let's all go to sleep, get a good night's rest, knowing that God's angel watches over you. And know that God loves you. And so do I. Good night.